Hey guys, Electron Man, how you doing today? Well, uh, I, you know, I was sitting here getting ready to do another one of these AM radio reviews. I'm still going through all the flea market and garage sale and estate sale little portable radios I picked up. I'm, I'm getting down to the end, but uh, anyway, you know, I realized something that I, I wanted to go over with you guys. If you're into me, like kind of collecting used electronics, or even if you just got a, an electronic that you want to run on, uh, run on AC power instead of burning up batteries. Um, this little guy is is a cat's meow. Um, basically, I don't think they made them till like a couple years ago. I don't know if you remember, but years ago there, they had like a, a little universal uh, AC power supply to, you know, power DC things and it had like the star plug on the end. It had like nine different little prongs on it, a little nine volt thing to hang off of it. And it had a little bitty switch on the back of the power pack that you could do like three, six, nine volts. Well, we've come a long way since then. And, and these I actually are, you know, they're around 20 bucks, a little less. Um, personally, I'll, I'll put a link in, uh, in uh, th this video description of the one that I purchased. But uh, And I kind of based it on how many of these extras you get because, you know, that's kind of, that's the important part is, is you get all these different size adapters for all different types of radios laptops etc i mean you got usb c here a us mini usb um you know obviously all types of different ones for laptops radios etc and uh basically the way this thing works is is that uh right here this is the way it comes and then you have uh all these different plugs and they just plug in and that adapts it to whatever size and you also have another, uh, where's it at? Oh, it should be laying right here. And you can even reverse polarity by using this little guy right here. And this will reverse polarity. You want to always look at your radio. In fact, the radio, what got me started on this is this is a radio I'm getting ready to do a review on. And if you look on the side of the radio here, it says DC 5 volt. And it shows that the center is hot and the outside is negative, which that's common. Um, and that's the way this will be wired is centers hot outside ground but sometimes you'll look at those and the outside will be hot and the inside will be ground and in that case you would hook up this little voltage voltage uh, polarity switcher and then you just put it in between and now what it did is it crossed it over to where now it would be insides ground and outsides hot which i don't need that on this particular one but anyway i just thought i'd cover that but th you know this is this guy is if you don't have one i mean even I mean, for like troubleshooting and working on radios and stuff, if you don't have the money for a big bench power supply, this little guy does pretty good. Uh, um, this one here does like, uh, well, let's see, what is it? It's, uh, I know it's like three volts all the way to 24 volts. So it does three volts to 24 volts and it's variable. You just got a knob that you turn. And uh, it also comes with this cool little attachment, which uh, plugs into here, obviously, same way as the rest of them. And what it does is it gives you the capability to, uh, hook wires up to and what I did is I hooked a couple of banana clips up to it so like uh, for a 9 volt you know I can just clip it on there or you know if it's an odd power supply size whatever I can use it I can even use it as banana clips but uh, yeah I don't I don't want to make this video too long I just you know if you don't have one of these and like you said you you know buy a lot of used electronics or even really if you just need to adapt if you lost your uh, adapter for your laptop I mean this guy is, is, a, is a great solution Maybe not so much for that because you know maybe you'd be afraid you'd turn the voltage by accident or something. But but it's it's definitely uh, could be used for that. It could be used for you know it's an, it's an, it's an AC adapter to for DC from three volts to twenty volt twenty four volts. So and this one is uh, three amps, which is a pretty you know pretty strong amperage, um, seventy watts basically at twelve volts. So it'd be three amps at twelve volts. So, I mean, they have different ones. Um, you know, some of them are less, 35, maybe like an amp and a half. And I think there might even be like a 105-watt one, which would be like four and a half, five amps. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up. If you don't have one of these and, you know, like I said, you you need to adapt to something like this little radio here, which I already looked was DC 5 volts. All I got to do is make sure I got the plug, which I think I already found it. Yep, see, there's the right plug. I know the polarity is positive in the middle negative on the outside so i know my polarity is right which you can always use a meter if you need to check but i've used this little guy enough i know and uh you plug her in there and then i well, actually i did it this way you turn it on you just set it for five volts uh, you know you don't have to be exact five and a half volts to be fine plug it in there and that should right there replace uh see it replaces uh 
which that's cool. I, that's the first I checked that it works. So we'll do a little review on that guy. But uh, anyway, that that's all there is to it, and uh, you just can't beat it. Uh, in fact, it's even got little mounts so you can mount it up somewhere, like on your workbench or something. I mean, to me, it's a great little workbench type AC power supply to, for DC voltage. I mean, you could probably run a stock CB maybe would be about the max I would say because three amps is you know it might even be pushing it but I think three amps on a stock CB would probably be about the max you could do but I mean you can run boom boxes laptops I mean whatever you know just make sure you don't over exceed the 70 amps or 70 uh, 70 watts at uh, 12 volts which is three amps if you do the Ohm's law figures but anyway guys I'm getting too long in this I just uh, thought it was worth bringing up and I will definitely uh, put a link in there for the uh, one that I purchased and uh, I kind of just based it on one I could get the most the wattage out of and had the most little adapters with it and uh, I definitely wanted the uh, this little universal one because having a set of banana clips even opens it up even wider for what, what you can use it for anyway guys hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on the AC power adapter definitely a handy little tool I think it's a must-have for a bench anyway guys this is electron man have a great day out there and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel Give me a thumbs up like and hit that bell so you know when the next cool video is coming out. Like uh, the review I'm going to do on this little radio here.